A commercial lander arrived just in time to watch the sun rise over the surface of the moon, capturing dramatic shadows cast among craters under a dazzling bloom of light. Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost spacecraft touched down at 3.34 a.m. Eastern Time on March 2. Blue Ghost, named after an exotic type of firefly, traveled more than 2.8 million miles over the course of 45 days in space, testing its systems and collecting copious amounts of spacecraft data, before attempting the landing. Blue Ghost is now sitting on Mare Crisium, a plane made from an ancient hardened lava flow. It's next to a volcanic feature, Mons La Trail, in the northeast on the near side of the moon. The landing site is expected to provide insights into the lunar environment and test technologies for supporting future landings, carrying astronauts. Firefly's lander, originally scheduled to lift off in late 2024, is the first NASA Commercial Lunar Payload Services mission of the year. The program has invested $2.6 billion in contracts with vendors from the private sector to help deliver instruments to the moon and send back crucial data. Blue Ghost is carrying 10 instruments for NASA, which has paid Firefly $101.5 million for the ride. The space agency wants to see a regular cadence of moon missions to prepare for astronaut-led Artemis expeditions in 2027 or later. The lander will conduct experiments over the next two weeks, the equivalent of a full lunar day. During that time, NASA will test underground drilling, lunar soil sample collection, and radiation-tolerant computing. There are sure to be many more rare and dramatic images beamed home. Toward the end of the mission, Blue Ghost will send back images of the lunar sunset, studying how moon dust levitates from solar influences and creates a lunar horizon glow. Following sundown, Blue Ghost will operate for several more hours through the darkness of lunar night, continuing to take pictures, to see how the dust's behavior changes.